Hello everybody, my name is Rekaton and you are watching Rex Starcraft. Uh, this is my second cast and this one will be between the Blue Zerg, Don't Ask, and the Red Terran, Porky Lorky. <laughs> awesome name. Porky, you rock for having that name. Don't Ask, kind of a boring name, sorry, but you still rock too. Okay, uh, Don't Ask is the submitter, so we're going to be watching from his perspective. And this is a uh, bronze ladder match, so if you're looking for anything uh, too terribly pro, that's not what we're uh, going to be here for. So, hope that doesn't disappoint too many people, but there should still be plenty of uh, teachable moments in it. Um, when I cast bronze, silver level games, these sort of things, I'm not going to be hitting on um, some of the finer details. Like, for example, that little extractor trick there. Obviously, he would have been better off with 9 Overlord, and I, and I will go ahead and address those things, but more or less I'm looking at the general overall theme of their gameplay, making sure they're making sound decisions and hitting some good um, basics. Wow, what was that? Okay, for some reason it just zoomed in, but uh, that's okay. My computer's done having ex its exorcist moment. Um, okay, so uh, we've got some slow time here, so I'm going to go ahead and answer some questions. Uh, don't ask asks, um, how do you handle scouting after your drone has been forced out? Uh, and that's done with a suicide overlord. Uh, 15 pool, okay. That's done with a suicide overlord. You want to position your overlord um, ahead of time. This initial first spawn, and actually you're moving it out pretty well here. Um, for example, in Blistering Sands, you could put it here. Oh, can't ping on replays. And you could put it here. Either one of these are great suicide locations. I personally uh, like this location down here because it gives vision of their natural. allows me to see if they're doing any kind of fast expo build. But um, up here is just as good, and actually sometimes I'll get an overlaid at both locations so I can actually suicide twice if necessary. Uh, and that suicide wants, uh, should be done couple minutes after you've lost vision of their main. Uh, by five minutes, six minutes, good time to do it. Uh, by that point, like a cyber's been up for a little while, or um, you can see what's going down after factory if, if you've already seen a factory. Th things like that. Also, I'm pretty low APM. Uh, how do I, how did you get yours so high? Um, in a nutshell, don't worry about APM. Um, my APM when I started playing StarCraft 2 was about 50, uh, and that's after plenty of StarCraft 1 experience but I just was new to some of the hotkey changes and things like that. Um, and I still hit diamond the day after release. So uh, APM is not uh, super critical like um, some people think. Don't worry about spamming, etc. Just work on strong fundamentals. And uh, if you can get that down, like for example, this queen should be injecting. I'm about to go Psy on this queen. Inject, bitch, inject. There we go. See? Look at that. I can do it too. Um, work on strong fundamentals and if you can get that down then you're gonna see the APM go up naturally uh, and I am actually probably talking through things I should be commentating on so um, sum that up don't worry so much about APM worry about playing the game properly and um, keeping a good mindset on what you're doing and if you can do that your APM is going to improve just with Time. It's going to take a lot of time. Okay, um, moving on. There's a couple other questions, but I will hit those uh, later because uh, it looks like we're going to get some game going here. Okay, so this Overlord Scout was a little weird, um, and in a higher level game, um, you would have definitely lost that Overlord. You almost lost it as it was. Um, make sure that it's a drone scout that's doing everything here. Um, and then they're going to shoo away the drone naturally, and that's when you're going to suicide in later. Um, but at this timing, it just was too early, uh, because this was all information you could have gotten with a drone. Um, so, uh, moving right along. Okay, so we've got pretty decent uh, expansion timing. A bit late, but that's alright. Um, pretty safe build you've gone so far. Um, but we want to make sure there's a transfer. Uh, some people call it a Maynard. I have no idea where the word Maynard came from, so I'm going to call it a transfer so that people don't get confused. Um, how I confuse myself with that dumb word. Um, so you want to take, eh, some people like big ones, some like small, uh, at least four or five drones, and move them over to the mineral line um, at your natural. And this is just going to make sure you have nice even mining. That's all that's there for. It's, it's not technically going to increase your efficiency, it's, uh, except for in extreme cases, um, but it's just going to make sure that your main doesn't mine out um, five minutes before your natural. That can be kind of bad for the late game. Um, 
Okay, good. Three queens. I like this. Uh, just make sure you're utilizing them. Got 25, 50, and that one's good. Uh, so you could... Okay, good. You're reading my mind. Two tumors going up. This is excellent. Um, now, kind of the same situation as last game. Your, uh, last game I cast. You're playing a little blind. Um, get some Zerglings outside their base. Get both of these Zelnaga Towers. And you're going to be in a lot better shape. Um, and at bronze level, this is very, very common. So I'm not too terribly worried. And I promised I was going to use this tab more. So here it is. Um, so, production tab. We are seeing tons of links coming out. And this is probably the first thing that really defines this as a bronze level game. And uh, I guess that's part of why we're watching a bronze level game, is to help people who are bronze understand why they're there, which is oftentimes uh, an issue with fundamentals. You are trying to have continuous combat unit production, and you're doing it at the expense of drones. And so you're not capitalizing on the fact that you expanded. In fact, your income at 27 drones is technically slightly lower than a fully saturated one base. So make sure that if you're going to uh, take any sort of fast expand, and this was a reasonably fast expand, um, you're capitalizing on it. And we're going to just watch throughout the course of this game. You're now at nine minutes. We're going to see how long it takes for you to um, get even near um, full saturation of two bases, and that's really what's going to be important. All right, so we got a little combat here, and make sure you're watching those links. Okay, you, now you responded, and oh, okay, okay. This is a pause moment. Um, this is kind of, I guess they would call it a day nine moment. Nah, maybe it's not quite as, quite as big as a day nine moment. Day nine mo moments are huge, mind blowing. Okay, so let's watch this micro real close. All right, now I'm gonna slow this down. And this is, you know, this this might seem like no duh for some people, but some people just don't quite get this, and it's very important. Um, we have. Um, don't ask uh, selection currently on, okay? And let's just watch as we see what he does with these links. He focus fires one Marauder, okay? So about 80% of his units were not actually fighting there because he literally right-clicked on a Marauder as opposed to attack moving or even just letting them auto attack would have been more efficient than what he just did make sure you are getting comfortable with attack move um, on a standard key configuration where you're not using grid or anything that is literally just a and left click it's all it takes and that's going to cause your zerglings to automatically attack what is nearest um, in most cases i mean scvs that aren't repairing and things like that well post 1.2 will um throw that off a bit but generally in that engagement there for example they would would have surrounded and attacked what was nearest um, so obviously much more efficient than having three to four links in contact and the rest running in circles getting shot down so make sure you never focus fire with a melee unit um, is the moral of the story and in fact with most zerg units you don't want to focus fire even hydralis you rarely want to focus fire roach is probably the only one it's beneficial with um, okay, so, uh, moving right along. And here, here we're looking at this, uh, some more. 29 drones off of two bases. Full saturation would be 60. That's 24 per mineral line, 6 uh, per two gas uh, geysers. Um, so we're still not seeing saturation. And this is really where, um, it looks like Don't Ask could, um, improve his play to even just a mid silver to a low gold. Um, anything else aside um, like for example the overlord positioning I love it this is great could use control of the Zelnagas that would really complement this overlord positioning but um, also the creep spread is good for a bronze player I mean the, the simple fact that you're bothering to make more than one creep tumor is pretty cool it's maybe even a bit excessive simply because uh, 51. You're working with decent APM, um, but nevertheless, it might actually be soaking up some valuable APM um, since it's a bit of a scarcity at this level of play. Um, nevertheless, I still like any time I see someone spreading creep. Alright, so we're watching fundamentals still here, which is the most critical aspect of it. And let's look at these minerals, 900 and 250. Uh, 250 gas. Uh, so here's another thing that um, a lot of bronze players suffer from is we look at the income. It's uh, only 36 uh, drones, which isn't particularly huge for two base, and yet you're now breaking 1,000 minerals. 
So why are you floating? Well, it's just an issue with the mental checklist. It's an issue with the occasional supply block, which you just dumped a lot into overlords to avoid that. Um, if you've ever seen Day9's video on the mental checklist, and if you haven't, uh, anyone who's watching, I recommend you look it up. Um, just Google Day9 mental checklist and you'll find it. Um, he talks about how you need to have this cycle that you go through in your mind um, of, am I making overlords? Am I supply blocked? Uh, do I have minerals floating? Am I scouting? Etc. 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 The most basic thing you need in your mental checklist is, am I keeping this low? Um, and this is uh, probably the second biggest thing that's contributed to Don't Ask's um, loss in this game. We know he loses uh, based on kind of the theme of all this. If he had spent this 1,200 minerals and 500 gas, this engagement coming up would look very, very different. Um, his army size would be nearly double. So let's see how this pans out from the micro standpoint. More focus fire on those links. And oh, more focus. Okay, now we have an attack move in hand. Okay, but the initial. And actually, focus firing a, a siege tank, not really something I can knock him for. Um, they were all together, so, you know, the links just kind of got wrapped up in it. And make sure that when you engage, yeah, make sure you don't have any, any splitting going on. Actually, think, let me pause one second. Sorry, I think my volume's still a little, a little too high for my um, mic output. So, okay, moving right along. Make sure you don't let him split your forces. Uh, when you do engage, it's in a, a direct attack move, not just something where they auto engage you. And this is something that okay, good. You fixed the rally point. Okay, make sure you're mindful of your rally points as a Zerg player. It's very, very easy to get your Zerglings rallied behind their army and uh, have that exact issue happen. Okay, taking your third, but, you know, at this point it's a desperation. Um, you know, at Bronze, uh, he might not find it for a while, but at this point it's kind of a done deal. Uh, okay. So, uh, even with all the spending that you've had and the depleted income that you've had from losing your main, you're still floating quite a bit, and this is kind of where it all ties together. Is, uh, had this been spent... Ooh, okay. Okay. Had this been spent, um, you would be definitely in better shape, even with some of the management issues. So, um, don't ask. The big things I want to make sure that you get from this and learn to focus on are A, those basics of macro. Make sure you're shooting for 30 per base, 30 drones per base. It's not mandatory. Um, 25 is fine, but make sure that your goal is right around 30 per base. So at two bases, 60. Can't stress it enough. Um, and make sure you're spending your resources. But then the other thing that I really want to make sure of is that you're not um, just kind of throwing your units in and misclicking them. This, this right here looks like a big misclick, and it looked like actually maybe even you focus fired one in the back. I should watch it slower, but I'm not going to bore people to death watching it a third time. Um, make sure that at the very least you are just attack moving. Never focus fire those units, um, because that, that group of banelings, with as little as he microed in response, that group of banelings should have cleaned up everything that he just, uh, this entire ball. And I mean, the game may, may have still been over, um, given how much you've been, you've lost already, but, um, nevertheless, it would have been much more productive. So, make sure that, um, at bronze, you are just attack moving. There's